Hey, Dennis Warson. Welcome to episode three of The Greatest Game Ever Played. We're still talking about the 1994 World Championship final game between Sweden and New York slash the USA. By the way, that's the reason I say New York slash the USA. Back then, we were not an all-star team. The U.S., whoever won the U.S. national championship got to represent the U.S. at the world championships. All the other teams were all-star teams, but we sent our national champion, which is an interesting debate on whether you think that the all-star program, which they have going on now, they have tryouts on the East and the West, put together a team. Sounds good on paper, because you got the greatest players from around the country. However, they're not a cohesive team. And I think that the old way, where you give it to the national champion, might be the better way to this day. Uh, especially given the fact that the national champion always had the right to bring ringers along. So something that we didn't do in 94 that probably we should have because in 94 we didn't have Kenny Dobbins, we didn't have Pat King, we didn't have Bob DeMann, we didn't have Dave Blau. Uh, the team had already split up. This was going to be our last game. We were kind of lame duck at that point. And given that fact, maybe we should have uh, augmented our roster, but we didn't. And that had a little bit to do with why this was such a fantastic tight game. So let's pick it up with the next three goals. And I'm going to sprinkle in a couple of interview snippets from Walter van der Schraff and Namir Yunin from Sweden. I went, dug out some of my interviews from Flatball and, uh, We'll see what I come up with and what we're going to show. I haven't really decided yet. I'll uh, figure that out next. But sit back and check out the next segment of this game as we move forward. Walter might be back next week, but we got some footage of him this week. And uh, that's about it. I hope you enjoy. Yeah, Chili Moss, let's get this block. This is your block, Chile. Watson makes the pull for US. They lead by three goals to one now. That one hangs in the air a long, long time, so Sweden will let it drop. And USA, their players will advance to take a position. It, in fact, goes out in the end, so Sweden will be able to take the throw from some yards into the field. A little mark has been made on the field. It's called the brick mark. No one really seems to know the origin of the term brick mark. It's a white mark in the grass for this tournament, the Ultimate World Championships. Tighten it up now, tighten it up, D. Yunnan for up, Sweden will be the target as he bursts through the middle. Good throw up towards Yunnan, but he'll race hard and makes a diving attempt at the catch. Looks back at US 88, Ron Papanek, the former Chicago man, now playing out of New York. And Nama Yunnan, who made the diving attempt for Sweden, will debate this one because I think Yunnan is claiming he was at least obstructed, if not fouled. That's exactly what he's saying. He thought he had a bid for the disc as it was heading toward the pitch. And uh, he's saying that Ron Papadak clipped him as he was going for it. Uh, the world is junior, it starts with the juniors. I, it starts with, I was a little bit fat bef uh, in the, when I was young. And uh, it was the World 91 in Toronto was the first club championship for me. And it was the first tournament outside of Sweden. And uh, that's what the first time I saw you too. Uh, New York and uh, Boston in the finals. Uh, that's where it started. The coach told me if you don't go down like 30 kilos and you have to go down because you don't run that well. And I said, okay. So it took me three months to get down 30 kilos. That's where it starts everything, 91. 
94 is... not go to Madison. No. No, thank you. That, that's the most... Uh, that's what I've been dreaming sometimes after the game we have finished. That was like, we had a really good team. We had uh, young guys and, uh, and some old guys at that time. And we ha there was like, I think it was no, the best team ever Sweden had. Uh, mixed guys, uh, uh, handlers, runners, and yeah. So... Uh, there was a long game, three hours, something like that. I don't, and it was the first time television showed that. I think it was a Channel Four or something. Uh, that was no, that was a, there was a really good tournament, the uh, World Championship. Uh, we was playing uh, semi-finals against Canada. We won, and we was going to meet you guys, New York. The New York, uh, you have J Jonathan uh, Cribben, You have. Uh, that year, Ken Dobbins was not there, I remember. Oh, no, that was so close. We have been talking about it many, many years after. Danny Eriksson was a guy who, who had known Frisbee a lot. He knows a lot of people around. Uh, and somebody who had been playing for before even Danny Eriksson was Niklas Lorenzon, our head coach. Uh, that guy had been like playing for uh, Washington uh, before. I thought it was a world, they had a world, something in the, uh, it was old teams. Uh, he had experience how to t handle American. Uh, we know how tough is it to meet and play against American. We was talking a lot about Dennis told us, uh, Daniel Erickson told us, uh, don't go inside to talk about uh, if they start to get fighting, uh, tough, rough, and because we're going to lose. So, speak Swedish with the guys. Don't go inside to speak American English with them because they're going to destroy you because we don't know the English like you do. So when we start to get one word, you get 10 words. They'll see if, uh, we'll see if they can resolve the dispute. And it is a contested foul. Unlike the last one we saw, it's going back to the thrower. This was a contested foul. Sweden retains the disc, trailing 3-1. Sweden then restart the play again, looking to go long. Have to go though in the end to the wing. Chance here for Headstrong to build up. Goes inside to his midfield man. Jonas Forsberg, Yunan, who so unlucky not to make that spectacular grab, has control and gets forward for Sweden. Again, he'll be the target inside, but the turnover there, a poor pass in the end by Nicholas Jaunovic, and it was a good interception by Dusty Rhodes. The crowd really getting behind this one is another turnover. This time, Sweden get possession back. Maybe Jalovic can do better this time. Goes long, looks for Yunan, makes a grab. He's still not in the end zone though, waits for some support. Timeout called Sweden. A very smart timeout. Uh, he had only one person in the end zone. He made a great catch between two U.S. players. And he wants to make sure that they can score here to bring him within one. <laughs> John, he goes down on the back end, move with him. Okay, there's a combination. Nicholas, number two, likes to throw to the guy that John's covering. Those two guys have a thing. I thought it was I know. Just be aware of that. They look for each other. Straight up right here. He's a lefty. I don't like straight up. We want to see a blind for this one now. Otherwise, we'll be able to win with another one. Stay up, stay up, stay up. Listen up. Hey, wait, wait, what if we done? No, don't, don't check. Hey, 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 seven. 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 seven in. Seven. Shut up. Seven. Shut up. Seven. You can't seven. Just, seven. Seven. just go over it. Seven. 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 Amos, Amos. We're just going FM, The timeouts break up. Swedish coach Nicholas Lortensen, a former ultimate player. Three knee operations though finished his career, now takes care of the Swedish side. I'm sure you know what the USA team had to say, Andy, but what about the Swedish team? Do you uh, speak any uh, Swedish? No, but I've been learning all week, and uh, I can tell you that uh, the coach emphasized how important this point 
is for them to score. Nama Yunan will start just a yard or so from the end zone. And a stack offense being set up, a line ahead of the throwing forward player. They'll try and break away quickly to create a bit of confusion in the US defense. And Yunan to get things going here for Sweden. Looks to his left, and then eventually goes right inside, scores the goal, and brings it back to within one. 3-2, USA lead. Yes, Forsgren was the second cutter there, made a quick juke, got open, and now it's 3-2. It's USA 3, Sweden 2. Anders Juren Ray ready, raises the disc, does that great spin to get some power behind the pull. And that'll go into the end zone, drops in play, so that's just perfect. When you're looking for a pull, Andy, that's really what you want to achieve. Absolutely. There, the offensive player for the U.S., John Gorich, just watched it sail over his head. Sweden gets to set their defense. Gorich to Kuhn. Kuhn with his lucky red hat. Plays that into the middle of the field. Back to Gorich. Good work between these two players. Both pride nice. themselves on their defensive play for very much part of the offense here. And Dennis Warson lives and breathes ultimate. Probably even sleeps with a disc. Gets that back to his left-hand teammate, John Gewertz, coach of the U.S. junior side. He's found his voice a little hoarse this week. A long play in there to the middle. A spectacular diving effort there by Walter van der Schraff. Well, we didn't party too hard, not at all. We partied the right way. <laughs> You know, some teams we, we I think the, the French team, we, what, won 15 nothing. I was not part of that. I missed that game, sorry. Um, and we thought, you know, pretty, well, we didn't think much. We thought, we just assumed that we were going to just party hard and win everything. Um, but then we ran into Sweden, and we could have lost that game, except for two incredibly timed blocks at the end of the game that gave, gave us a chance to win, and we did, and we took care of it. Um, you know, there's luck or that was just the way that we were in our destiny. Uh, that's the way we were. That was our destiny. I think, I mean, we believed we'd win every game we played. We were talented. We were strong. Um, and we had the will. I mean, collectively we had the will. Some, some people we had to convince on the team and maybe they were new, but most of us were like super cocky and we could line up against seven guys in practice and say, ah, that guy sucks, that guy sucks, that guy sucks. Which one do you want? Because we that's how confident we were. And fast forward to, to 94, different animal altogether as to why. Yeah, so this, this is our, the, end of, you know, the end of our reign. Um, we won nationals, we got to go to Worlds. Um, it was a long, long relationship. And the relationship, things get frayed and, and Things kind of fall apart and they're har harder to hold together. Um, and I'm not sure why things happen, but we didn't have Kenny or Pat. Um, we, had, we, had, we, had, we had Kenny's mom, though, <laughs> which, which is pretty, uh, you know, that's our eighth person. She is amazing. Um, but we had, we had Patty. We had Mrs. D. Um, so, you know, rewind to the finals at the end of our reign. Uh, we're, we're without our two major leaders. Um, people who, you know, would motivate us, would, they were like a big MRI machine. They would align us at any moment, like anybody could. Walter van der Schraff, but they enabled to make the grab in the end zone. But Yarmi was right on his tail, and that forced Walter to make that error. Ericsson's been quiet in this game, had a good hammer throw earlier, but Ericsson has been kept quiet by USA, very much the inspirational leader of the Swedish side on the field. But unable really to get too much into the play yet. Good work out to Michael Hansky. Hansky goes inside to Hedstrom. Hedstrom plays that one in long. It's a good chance here if Sweden can make the grab. Up goes Yeramre. But Warson uses his height, gets there first, and no goal on the play. Certainly was not the, the throw that you want. 
trailing 3-2 to put it up where Dennis Warson may be hanging back. Sheeman sets up a play into the middle. It was slightly behind number 14, John Gewurz. And he fumbles it over to Sweden, who have possession with Ericsson. Ericsson, nice pass into the corner of the end zone. Under pressure, though, Sweden can't make the grab. Yes, they can. It looked like he missed it for a moment, but then came back and pancaked it into his body. A terrific grab. Ericsson just put it out in front of the US defender, Kareem Basta. Looks like he hit number 19. Frederick Hedstrom, who had terrific concentration here. We've got a great ultimate game. It's three all. Come in, the show me Thanks, Buck. Sweden then to make the pull, having drawn level. That's a nice high one. They'll go deep and fall inbounds. So a super pull by the Swedes. An unbelievable throw. US pinned all the way back in their end zone. They get to walk it up. They'll try to set a play here. Watch New York just isolate three handlers. Handlers are players who move the disc upfield trying to get it near their goal line to pass to one of the larger goal scorers. Karim Basta to get things going. We've got a great ultimate game. It's three all. Juano Flores, whose brother Aaron is in the Great Britain side, gets things going there inside his own end zone for the USA. A fumble there, Flores can make the dive. No, he can't, it's taken out of his fingertips just there by Michael Forsgren, who gets things moving quickly here for Sweden. A great opportunity for Sweden to go ahead for the first time in this game. Here's Yunan, plays it short, and then makes the run inside. A chance here for Sweden. Yunan is free to the left, but he can't be found. He's got 10 seconds to release that. Good release, did it to the right-hand side, and Sweden have the lead. All right, that's it for this week. Three goals played, three goals for Sweden, and a lead, four to three. It's getting tight. Let's see uh, what happens next week.